Okay, guys, so one of our viewers wanted to see a way you can simulate horsehair. So here's that video, and I hope you like it. Click like, subscribe, give me comments. I want to know your feedback. Um, I'm really enjoying doing these videos for you, so I'd love to hear how you like them. So I am making a circle skirt. I'm going to do a horsehair hem. So what I'd like to do first is take this first layer and duplicate it. I'm going to make it a clone pattern underneath and then I will cut out the middle so that only the hemline is um, cloned and sewn underneath the garment. So this I'm going to use as my horsehair layer. So the first thing I do is change this to leather. To me, the leather is thick enough to simulate the horse hair. However, the actual piece thickness is what I change uh, at the end. You'll see that I change it to be, instead of 0.87 millimeters, I change it to be like 1.25 millimeters or something very, very thin and small, which is horse hair. But it will still have, here I added, I don't know why I added <laughs> It was fun to, to watch it go up, but it did not need any pressure. I thought that I would give it a little pressure and we'd see how that would go. But no, just adding leather thickens the uh, hemline underneath and it resembles the horsehair. You can add your seam taping all around. The piece just to give it a little bit more stiffness, a little more edge to it. And uh, when it's sewn underneath, it will fold more like horsehair. So here I am fooling around with this thing. I turned the hem upside down, so now I have to sew it again and re-simulate it. So I want it to stay like that. So I actually stitch it. Instead of having the one piece stitched just at the edge, I stitch it at both edges underneath the garment just as how you would do a uh, horsehair so it's kind of sitting at the hemline and not moving moving with the rest of the skirt then pretty much what you can do is uh, fool around a little bit with the leather texture and the um, properties of the fabric until you are happy with how it looks this is a good way to uh, to do it. Why did I change the model? Oh, I know why. Because I wanted to uh, later on do a simulation uh, animation of her walking with this skirt on. So I just changed the model. Um, but yes, also the fabric I changed. Because usually horsehair is kind of something that you see on like a taffeta or like an organza type of fabric. So I wanted to change the fabric properties to that. And that's where you get that real stiffness, that real um, standout look at the hem, is when you change the fabric on top to be an organza or a taffeta. And then the bottom uh, hem piece is leather. So I'm making a skirt, kind of reminds me of the 50s and that uh, Pinky Tuscadero type of look. <laughs> if you know who Pinky Tuscadero is, you're old like me. Anyway, um, so here's my little hoop skirt with my um, horse hair underneath. Now, right now I have it just as white horse hair. So what I can do to make it look more like horse hair is add a mesh, a mesh to it. So um, I'm not sure if I added it on this video. But yeah, you see that? It looks just like horsehair hem at the bottom. So you can make this a sheer skirt. You can make this like, um, yeah, I put the time there so you can see how long it takes for the skirt to actually fall back. So I'm just messing with it a little bit and I'm just waiting for it to kind of relax and fall back. But yeah, it has that definite standout look like horse hair. So that's leather on that single ring underneath the hem and a taffeta or a organza type fabric on the top. 
and yes I tried to steam it but then it looked like it was just stretching it out so I take the steam off don't really need the steam there um, I think it makes it look a little bit more crushed and it's looking weird so I take it off okay so you just gotta let it render this is the thing this is how um, this program works so all of those folds eventually come out and uh, it really looks like horse hair. So I hope you like this tutorial. I'm going to let this go for a little while without talking. And then I'll bring it back up. Okay. Okay, so I'm back and uh, we've got it as close as we can get it simulated. It was just taking too long, so now I'm just going to make her a little top and then we're going to finish it up real quick. So bear with me as I make this little first sweater.
Okay, so she's all outfitted up. And I like the way it came out. Leave me your uh, your thoughts in the description. I'll show you the actual uh, photo as it comes out. So this is just one way you can do it. The key to doing it is to have a hem layer underneath the garment in a thicker, stiffer fabric. And make sure you give that fabric a texture. Right now I'm looking at it and I'm not liking that white underneath. So I go back in and I add a texture. Uh, so you're going to see me do that right now. But it's really, you know, up to your discretion. But usually if you want a thick, stiff type of fabric, you can use the leather and you could just make it thinner. So it's more rigid. But it's not like a fusible or it's not like some kind of, a, you know, like a uh, inner fabric. So um, I find that leather, the leather lambskin option works to be flexible but stiff, not really rigid, which is kind of what you want horse hair to be. So um, I did like the way it came out. I hope you like it. I'm going to add some texture to it in just a second. I was playing around with this thing for a hot minute. It's supposed to be a really quick tutorial. There we go. I'm getting a hint. There I am changing the thickness to 1.2 so that it goes down just a little bit. But of course you have to go back and re-render it. And uh, yeah, it did thin it out just a bit. So you'll get less folds. Once I yeah let the render go for a while, you'll see that there are less folds in the bottom hem because I made uh, the leather thinner. Okay, that's it, guys. As you can see, I added the uh, I let it render out, and it's nice and flat and smooth on the top. But if you look underneath, there is the coarse hair looking mesh uh, texture that I put underneath so it actually looks more like coarse hair. If you want a smaller texture you have to make sure that your file uh, your textured file size is small and then uh, you can have that look. This one looks a little bit too big for me but as a texture I wasn't able to uh, for this tutorial I wasn't able to make it smaller. But uh, there's your look of horse hair hem, and I uh, hope it fits. Bye-bye. Like and subscribe.